Hey, yo, what's the good? It's your boy, Super Kev. Welcome to another episode of the Super Kev Live, guys. Season four, we on YouTube. For those of you new to the page, welcome to the hottest to-do list show on the internet. If it's not, your job is to let me know who got it so I can like, comment, share, and subscribe to their page the same way I ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to yours truly, of course. So, straight up, I only got like a couple minutes, so I'm in and I'm out. Today represents Friday, which is the fifth day of the week. That corresponds to the fifth form of income, which is rental income. And this week's theme is the seven forms of income from the perspective of a an sorry, elementary school student or a parent of an elementary school student. So let's jump right into income five. Let's and I get in, I get out, almost promise. So income five is rental income. So if you're an elementary school age child, you probably cannot afford to buy a house. I say probably because who knows what you have inherited. So, you know what I'm saying? But if you grew up like me, chill. And so, and of course I'm putting an end to that. Y'all know I'm ending generational curses out here. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so and I don't own any property yet. Y'all know I'm working on it. Y'all know I just posted my um, real estate stocks. So you can talk to me in the comments if you want me to elaborate on that. But because I don't own any property, I was like, hmm, what the heck could I say for this episode? And then it hit me. I was like, oh, just because you don't buy the house doesn't mean you can't know about houses. And so our main lesson today is to travel with your children, travel, especially in the black community, we need to step outside, all right, and I ain't gonna step outside, (laughs) anyways, we need to step outside of our comfort zone, yo, first off, what's good, title town, man, and second, I only got like two minutes, but I just definitely wanted to shout you out, um, so the reason why I mentioned traveling is because I feel in the black community we are limited um, because we see the same things over and over, whether it's the news, the same two sports that black people like, um, we're eating the same foods. So in turn, we end up buying property or living in those same communities. So what I'm challenging us to do is travel with our children, even if it's once a year, even if you just leave your city and go to another part of your same state, rent out a hotel room for a day or two, find something to do that's local, take some walks, just breathe different air with your children so that when they get older, they will be more well-rounded and more balanced. And thus that will probably, again, it's not financial advice, it's just my opinion, that might mold their opinion as to where they acquire their real estate when they get of age or of finances, all right? So definitely travel. Uh, Another thing you can do as a parent is maybe you might want to do what I do, which is I invest in real estate stocks because I don't own any real estate yet. So that's, that's another option. And I had one more in my head I want to share before I run. Hold on. Oh, And a lot of times when it's time to buy a house, according to what I know from the people who did, they run credit checks. So what we can do as parents to set up our elementary school age kids is to make them authorized users on our credit cards. If you have good credit, because I ain't talking to the scammers out there. Um, I'm about to address that in a minute. Give me one second. Um, So if you have good credit, you can make your baby an authorized user if, you know, your credit card has that age requirement. Different cards have different ages. You can Google them or you can ask me. I'll put them in the comments. I actually Googled it on one of my episodes, so feel free to find it. I don't know what episode it is. Y'all know we're going 365 in 365 days, so it is what it is. But if you made them an authorized user and then you continue to pay that bill from elementary age all the way up until either they graduate high school, graduate college, or move out your house, whichever one happens first, our babies will be in a great position to acquire property, rental property, all right? So the last thing I want to acknowledge is my man, Junior, a.k.a. Title Town Man, says, I love to eat different, okay? 
That goes along with the traveling part, right? If our children are exposed to different foods, then yeah, maybe, you know, they can probably hang with different people, different groups, all that good stuff. I'm trying to just make sure we're not limited, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the black community, eating the same foods, visiting the same stores, buying the same stuff. Now, I'm not saying don't support businesses, you know what I'm saying? If you love what you love, you love what you love. You can always catch me eating pizza. But one of my growths is, yeah, I'm going to eat pizza. I might not eat two or three slices like I once did, but I'm going to eat that pizza. Might have to cut it in half is what it is. But guess what? I'm trying to travel the country and eat different pizza, New York pizza, Chicago deep dish pizza, Louisiana thin crust, whatever it's called down there. I want all of that. And I'm pretty sure young kids would appreciate tasting different foods, um, meeting new people, breathing different air. And that might ultimately sway them to visit other states and buy real estates in other places. All right. So I got to run. Unfortunately, I got to work soon. Y'all know I work hard. Work around the clock is what it is. And I I think I said I almost promised I was going to do this episode. Now, I'm going to tell y'all straight up, I'm not coming back until like one in the morning. If I'm too tired, y'all going to have to catch me double tomorrow. But if I have enough energy, we going to um, catch up with the lives tonight and do the Saturday one Sometime tomorrow, Sunday episode, we'll be all caught up. On that note, it's your boy, Super Kev, featuring Title Town Man. As long as I'm a live, there will be a live. And as long as he see it, I'm live, he going to pull up. You already know what it is. Having babies elementary school age is no excuse. We can still start their financial independence journey for them. Even if we feel like we're stuck, we can make sure our babies are not. I oh one more comment just came in. Title Town Man says, "When I cook, I love to learn global foods to show differences, like genuine, <laughs> but out the usual." Yo, that's facts. Now I don't um cook, but remember my version of cooking is when I engineer music. And as I started having friends of people with different cultures, I started enjoying and appreciating different music, which means I feel comfortable engineering different musics. So I think that's a great way to end the show. Yo, my man, you can hit me in the um, inbox if you want to keep talking. Just know that when I'm at work, I, I might not be able to respond, but I respond when I can. You already know what it is. I love y'all. Hopefully I'll be back tonight. If not, definitely tomorrow. Peace mode.